everybody, welcome back to another video. Now I'm starting up season four of the YG Room SMP. I don't know, it's starting to be called the YG Craft SMP for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. And I am very excited to start it up today. Uh, before we start, I first of all need to first of all go to bed because okay, whatever. I like that we would tour the hub just so that way you guys could if you want to join along, you sure can. So we in this pit we have pig spawners for bacon. If you go down here, we have the mail room and treasury area, plus the bed area, which I cannot sleep in. Okay. Up down here, we have the mail room. Where I can put, like, your stuff in here. And send it to other players or whatnot. Okay, now I can actually go to bed. Never mind. I think I see a skeleton in the... No, you... Let me kill you first. Now we got a gold nugget. All right, as I said, they need to go to sleep. All right, there we go. Okay, right, pop down here again. This is also where <coughs> we have donation chests so you can donate items to people. And we have the compass down here, but I'm gonna keep it on. You're the wither fight where you can fight the wither. And if you go down here again, we have the treasury room where you, we need uh, has a server. We need to work together to collect these items. For example, like since I don't have any of these items, but let's pretend that you got yourself the coal block so you can place it in here, and then that light will up saying we got it. Yeah, but then I can't punch it to take it out. So yeah, I guess I'll just leave it there for now. Hopefully. Okay, there we go. I got my gold nugget back, but let's just say that. And we have to work together to collect all of these items and all of the music discs. Then we have a little hangout area with custom stools where we can have, like, meetings and everything. All right, but let's go back up to ground level. We have the enchanting area where we can enchant. You just need to bring lapis and another and then portable. The end portal is closed until we have won our server while dragon fight, so you will have to wait for that. All right, so let's get out of the hub and let's get to exploring. Oh, and we have these little shop pots over here where we could build shops. One shop per person. All right, as we make our way out to spawn. There we go, boom, we made it. And it looks like we have a drowned. I see he also has a Nautilus shell so I could take it from him. Go back in the water you go. Yes! We got this not of a shell and some free armor. Beautiful. Oh, look at this. We have a baby Mulum. Okay. Just a quick little note. If you want to join us on the SMP, join down the Discord below in the description and fill out that server application to join in. And just remember, all the applications are not immediate. I will not check them right away, so just... You are that. Just join on the Discord below, fill out the application, and and see if you could join the SMP and be like me. Right, as I said, let's go also get some wood. I think I'm starting to starve. Well, I have pork from the bacons, from the pigs. Aha. Now we have five wood, you can craft them into planks. Then you can do this to craft them into a crafting table. Chuck her down. And we have a lot more items unlocked, and I still am using that green new pack, but whatever. Then we have the mini block crafter, we have chorus pie, boats, copper golems for anyone who wanted the copper golem, elytras, mining helmets, like everything. And I think. And yeah, glowing glass. So we're gonna create ourselves a pickaxe. There we go. 
I'm gonna take it, break the crafting table, and see if we can go find a little area to, first of all, build a base, and then second to mine. No, there's a mining area right over here. Okay, and we have some not better looking diorite in here too. Yes, diorite looks a lot better on this server. Upgrading our pickaxe. There we go. Get granite. Pop up with the granite. And let's see where I could build a base. Or where I will live in for the season. I'm not going to kill the moobums. These horses are just minding their own business. Okay. This area is like a big mountain. Over here though, this area is kind of clean. Let me just smack this pig. Thank you. Looks like there is a cow I could kill for leather and beef. Yes. This looks like this is just gravel. There is indeed a sheep right here. Oh yes, there's another sheep right bed. Cool. Time to get to murdering. Beautiful. That's the perfect amount of wool. And there's a cow right here. I just so that to make sure that my bed is white, I guess I'll take some of this. I'll make a red bed just for now because I do not want to sleep on a white bed. There we go. Then custom color the wool so it's red. Go in here. Bed. Boom. That's the bed I'm going to be sleeping in. Get my crafty table back. I think I'll start build. I need to find like really good spots. Like a good enough place where I can like start expanding. But like in that, but like it's not near the hub. But like. A good enough distance from spawn. Okay, this looks like a desert. And we have bees over there, so. Okay, we, yeah, this is like an entire, like, desert. But I don't want to go to the desert. Okay, there's a turtle. Nope, this is just a desert. I may just murder this cow. That's more stuff for me. Yeah, make sure to get as many cows as I can, because leather is kind of scarce. There we go. Okay, don't fall in the water. Do this again. I think I, I think I might just settle in this little area. If only that area across the beach is good. Oh, yes, sugarcane. That's also kind of scarce too, sugarcane. Yes. Why is there a squid? You know what, I gotta murder it. Stop squirting your ink on me. There he is. Don't get in this ink, don't get in the ink. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, this drone is very mad at me. If you decide to fight me, drone, I'll just fight you with my pick. Because I have no sword. Oh, he has to try it. He has to try it. Ow, no. 
Dude, he has a trident. Okay, you have the sun setting. Okay. I guess I will just quickly make a crafting table bed right here so I can respawn. Yeah, look at that. That's unfair. He has a trident. Die, 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 die already. Die. That's un this is an unfair fight. Oh, I killed him. Okay, good. Ooh, and I got, and I got, and there's a copper ingot for me. Ooh, I think I, I got a squid head from that. Yes, that's the first mob head. Let's place you down on top of my crafting table. And go to bed. Stop killing you, drowned. Yeah, good morning. Crush the sun. Yeah, on the server, we also have mob heads where if you kill a mob, you have a small chance of getting their head. And I got it. And you can even sit on top of the mob head. I was also. I really hope. I want to see you guys collect mob heads. Alright, and I guess we gotta go start getting gathering stone because literally I need to start like progressing. Okay, there's a drowned. There's a drowned. And one of the heads we need is a drowned head, so we really gotta kill these drowns to see if I can get their head. Nope. No mob head, but. XP. I'm literally breathing against the water. Okay, good. Yes, there is a lot of sugar cane right here. And these, are, and these are really needed for paper and, and sugar and whatnot, so it's good that we're finding them. Yeah, there's a lot across the beach, so that's great I as well. You know what, this actually might be where I'm building over here, I guess. There's like a mountain over there. If only there's like a good cave by that area, I might just move over here and then I can build like a, another thing right over here, like yeah. This would probably be where I'm going to settle. Unless it like has a good enough thing. Okay, chicken. I need to come to chickens. I can get their feathers. Okay, we got their things. Would be a shame if I just ate a spider eye. How convenient! It gave me speed, strength, and jump. Like yeah, cust like some food. They actually give you custom effects if you swallow it. Okay, I guess I, I got my squid head back. Like look at that. This, now the spider eyes are actually useful. They give you speed, jump, and strength. So yeah, this just makes you a reason to kill spiders, not just for string, but for these really buffed effects. Look at me, I can just I can just dash on over back to the area. Okay, it ran out, but well, it's okay. Like yeah, look at all that sugar cane over there. That will definitely be useful for later. No yeah, no. Yeah. There we go. Beautiful. Um, it seems like yeah this area is really good. It's like a plains Got some beautiful mountains where I could possibly build a cave. Oh, wait, is this a cave? Or is this another one of those pits? Yeah, it's a pit. Okay, it looks like there's a little cave right over here where I can start hopefully got a coal. Is there any coal? Coal? Okay, I cannot go down here. Oh, yes, it's cool. Let me make sure I can craft a coal, a, a torch. Torchy up. Okay, now I can place one down and navigate. Copper, actually? In the server, we are also using the experimental 1.21 version, where we have the new, get to test the new copper blocks. So it's gonna be useful for me to actually mine copper for once. Like, I don't think it's in the crafting, I don't know if it's in the crafting recipe, I have to check. But yeah, so that way we can actually get access to like the copper blocks, the crafter, from the Minecraft 1.21 update, so yeah, that'll be cool to test out. Looks like this is just a water cave. Of course, I don't want to go in the water cave since I do not. I literally I don't want to use a door. It's good enough cave as it is. Oh, there's a cow up there. I need to smack it. Thank you very much. Okay, so I guess this is where, be, where I will be settling in this big little area. I will dismount the grass. 
add a crafting table, my bed, and my squid head. And I also should have got extra stone from the cave to make a furnace. But then again, I literally cannot find iron, so great. Okay, good enough for a furnace, a sword, and a new pickaxe just in case this one breaks. Craft ourselves a furnace. There we go, furnace. And I will craft some more sticks for a sword and a new pickaxe just in case the yellow one breaks. Oops, I didn't get enough stone. Well, luckily there's a pit. Good stone. Lucky for me. There. Let me make sure I set my respawn point and just remember where spawn is as I just continue. might not look like a cave that there, there is coal so I will just take this coal That's 16 coal. I really hope there's some iron down here. Nope. Yep, I'm seeming to only find coal and not iron. This will take a while just to find some iron. I guess we just have to do the old, the old school, like build a mine area. Because this is literally just taking forever for me. And we're just starting off, and I literally still do not have iron. That iron will be useful, though. Just wait for it. I think just because now I'm living here, I might want to build a little... Turn this little mountain into, like, a little uh, strip mining cave. That I could use. Or anyone who decides to be build near me use this. So I guess I'll just craft a shovel. And I will probably build a little, like, mine entrance area, like, right here inside of this mountain but then there's a cave right there so i guess i could just mine out part of this and then build it like right here i just don't have any blocks to mark it but yeah you know what i mean so i can dig into this hill and get to mining And this looks good enough, so I guess we can just start building down here. There's the cave, but I will just use dirt blocks to fix this. Luckily I have all this dirt with me. Oh, my pickaxe broke, but I still have a new one. It's not time for me to go back up and go to bed. 
the earth, and there is my little base. Or, sorta base. Actually, I want to see if I can craft a stone cutter that will be useful for later. Stone cutter. Yep, I need an iron. Great. I need to really find iron right now. There's a lot of recipes with iron, and I literally just need to find like the smallest piece of iron. Guess I might just craft an emergency crafting table. I guess I have to have to go back up to the surface because I literally am out of wood. And I have like over two stacks of cobblestone. Get ready to craft a new pickaxe. Two new pickaxes just to save my life. There we go, cool. Now I can actually go back to mining for real. A few moments later. After like many, many, many minutes of mining, I actually found a cave. So, yeah. Let's see. Yes, finally. It took me this long to find some piece of my iron. Yeah, and I was doing off camera mining again. Oh, ow, sorry. And then, like, I got. And then I literally found this, and then I just wanted to light up the decay and then just turn the camera back on. But, yeah, that's if you were wondering. I literally got frustrated after, like,. Mining for like a whole, like, while, but yeah, we're good. Oh, there's a creeper. Oh, man. Don't blow up on my arm. Okay, never mind. Yes, this place is iron rich. There is indeed lapis, so I could enchant that spawn, but then I only have six levels, and then I don't think that's the best for mining. And that's X for I'm enchanting. But yes, finally. And we now have access to deep plate materials as well. Alright, we have 15 raw iron. Oh, that's just copper. Okay, and more. And some lapis, I guess. We'll take the lapis. Yep, yeah, my inventory will just throw away this roast. Now we have access to all the blue dye and everything. We also have this area. I could just throw this away and craft more torches. Oh yeah, and you can turn that into black. Oops, black dye, which is which could be useful. Yeah, okay, let's just head back up to the surface. I mean, we already got a pretty good amount of stuff, so. Yeah, let's just walk our way back up. And we are back, finally. But oh, then we have to smell all of that iron, and then we have to craft our things we need. Place, and I guess we could use. Yeah, for this. Two furnaces. I'll split this in half. So I'll put. Actually, I'll put three cobblestone in here. And then we'll put the iron in here. So that way we can also get the progress on the. The stone cutter. Oh, mining helmet. Okay, we need a lantern and we need a lead for the mining helmets. Oh, but I really hope a wandering trader spawns. Oh, I guess we just have to play the waiting game. That's our first iron. I think this is it. We can craft our stone cutter once ever this is finished. 
There you go. Stone cutter acquired. Now I can take all the stone and call stone in, yeah, like deep slate. Yes, now I can craft like all of this. Now we can take this back, split up the iron, and just speed up the process. That's enough, so I guess we will finally craft an iron pickaxe. And then we can go back to the caves and then hopefully all this mining, all this smelting will finish. And I guess we will also craft a double chest because double chests are useful. Now, yep, we still have two wood left, so that's really useful. Okay, chest. Yes, now I can store my stuff. Like my grave, all my pickaxes, my my food, I need my food. My lapis, the stuff like, yeah, like the copper, the leather, dirt, sugar cane, raw copper, nautilus shell, all that you can go back in the chest. While I go explore that cave down there, I will just borrow some of this coal we have so I can make torches in case I ran out of torches. Alright, that's 11. Iron ingots, I'll just save in there while I'm going back into the mines. Hoping we can find some diamonds. Okay, we are back in the caves. Let's see if we can find things. Okay, the skellies. Nope, I'm not going that way. I'm not prepared to fight a bunch of skellies with only leather armor. And there's the mock drop. Yes. A very unuseful bow and arrow. Yes, let's go, diamonds. That's our first diamonds of the SMP. Oh my god, this is a lot of diamonds. Yes, and there's iron underneath it. Okay, that was a nine vein. And some extra iron, let's go. What a welcome present to me. Oh, yep, there's more, beautiful. Right when I said I needed iron, we got the iron. Oh, wasn't expecting that off the bat. I guess we could also mine some of this extra lapis. Where's the lapis at? Okay, yeah, there it is. Yes, you can actually mine lapis with the stone pickaxe in this, in this game. Got broke, but it's okay. Because I have my iron one. Beautiful. So we already have nine diamonds, which is enough for a diamond block. And we also do have some things. Yeah, so nice. That's a skeleton, okay. You know what? We can pull out our bow. Do the same thing, I guess, though. Oops, I wasted my girls. Okay, this isn't good. Ow. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Okay, cool. I think this might just be a dead end. Yep, it is. I mean, like, by the way, we're also at, like, negative level now, so... The more deeper I go... Oh my gosh, it's a mob spawner! Okay, but it's skelly. It's a skelly mob spawner. Okay. No, 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 no. Oh, yes. Friendly fire! Friendly fire! Fight each other! We can slay all these guys really quickly. No, no, I know how to do it. No, 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 no. <sighs> That's great, I guess. Now I have to get back down there. They're not dying. Hope we're all, hope we're all clear. I got my grade back. We, we torched the spawner. Now what do we have in the chest? Okay. Yeah, we got dome mine at night. Now we got this, gold horse armor, cobwebs, yes. And more iron. And coal. What's in the other chest? Nice, you got crafted. Name tag, a bunch of lapis, redstone, and two amethyst shards. Plus the spawner. And then I think the skin spawn is useful because then we can get bones, and then bones is bone nail. So yeah, that's good. I just I mean you can claim that and then there we go. We have a little bone farm. And then there we go. I can actually just 
get infinite like bone meal so that's already a great start except for the fact that I died there but yeah more iron for me beautiful Oh, yes, okay, this is a big cave, but we cannot export in this episode. You're gonna have to wait for the next episode to see if well, I will explore that big, massive cave. So, yeah, I guess we'll just head back up to the surface. Where did I leave my thing at? So, oh, boy. Okay, there's my lapis. Thank you. Need to find wherever I put my staircase at. This is what happens if you don't mark your caves correctly. You're gonna have to suffer like me. Okay, it's the mob spawner. So in my calculations, I go back. And they go right. Yes. Phew. But it looks like it's nighttime, so I will have to find a way to get to my bed without dying safely. Back to the surface, and yep, there are mobs guarding my bed. I need to get to the bed. Watch out. Oh, God. Okay. And bedtime. Good night. Phew, can you get to the bed? And wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Okay, good. Okay, good. We're safe. And we killed. Yeah, whatever. Okay, we'll split this in half. Not really in half. I can actually start smelling things, some of our cobblestone for our starter base, so. Yeah, that'll be useful. Also should have definitely got more coal, but I guess we can, might also be able to craft a duke box, but I do not have wood. So let's just go to our local trees. Well, I wonder why I have an arrow on my offhand. There we go, you now have enough wood. And I guess I also may craft some sides to leave property to my little base and the cave. So yes, I will do that. Crop that into planks. Make some signs. Not the hanging ones, unfortunately. And the jukebox. Now I guess I'll just have these for now. Whatever I collect the second copy of the music is, I'll probably put them in the treasury. I guess I'll put Don't Mind at Night here. Yes, they work. They play Minecraft music. Beautiful. And I'll property this. And we'll put it at the cave. And that's enough of that song, so we can just take it out. Yep, there's the disc. Beautiful. It's kind of loud though, so you are headphone users. I'll put both of these discs away. I hope no one steals it from their chest, because otherwise they're gonna get banned. And we will take out our stone. There we go. And we can use our stone cutter to hopefully craft stone bricks. Nice. And I guess I'll put down like a mini graveyard right here. Cause if you like, because it's like if you die, your stuff will go into a grave, and if you can get the grave somehow, then you can use that to decorate your block. Yeah, it's beautiful. You have a little val a lily of the valley right there. All right, so let's see what I could do. I have twelve iron ingots. And a ton of stone. I guess you could start building our little starter base. It's gonna be kind of small, but it is supposed to be small. I want it to be out of stone bricks with copper for the roof. So we can, that way you can make use of the new copper blocks. All right, let's get to building. All right, and by building, I mean just have the little outline. So this is like the outline for my starter base. It's kind of tiny, but I really like building underground, so I guess we'll have most of the base underground. Just need to collect more stone, craft them into stone bricks. And I'm gonna have little spots for windows, so that way we can have windows. And this block will be the door. So let's do that, there we go. Oops. I 
That's enough. We can take these out finally. <sighs> okay, that's it for the walls. Just need to... There we go. And fill in the last empty spot. Alright, that's the walls. Now I have to start smelting copper. Luckily for you, I already have a lot of copper. Just need to split this into halves and drop them in the furnace. There we go. And I guess while we wait, I could... Yeah, I definitely saw that wood. Well, we gotta go gather some more wood because I think I might use that for the floor. And finished. So here's the little house I made. We have a copper roof, and now that will, uh, hopefully that will oxidize. I want it to oxidize. So the only thing I'm missing are the windows, which I have smelted some glass in the furnaces like this. Now I want them to be glass panes, so I'll do that. And I'm gonna make them blue, so that way they can go in these little cells like this. There we go, so now you can see through. Now I just need a door. And for the door, I will use copper, a copper door. Okay, you know what, I'll just use a basic, uh, like, oak door with the pressure plate. Alright, we finally gathered some wood, so I will just craft this. Put away the excess copper that I don't need for now. And then just, oops, I'm on the squid head. And then just turn this into a door. And a pressure plate, so I can get out automatically. So now all I have to do is take my door. Actually get rid of the excess blocks I have to use to get to the top. Get rid of these first. Take my door, place it in the front. And I should have brought my dirt. You know what? I'll just. Yeah. So, pop your wood in here. Take your pressure plate and. There you go. Automatically closing door. Now I just need some dirt from the chest. So it's easier to get into my house. Like this. And again, I need to, like claim to this so I will put it right here my hut beautiful this will be where I'll be staying in for like the start of the series or SMP take my bed grab some cobblestone I guess I would also do a little bit of a hack we're gonna take some cobblestone turn it into a stairs and then we're gonna take my stuff like my stuff and I'll be moving in so I guess I'll just take my jukebox my furnaces my squid head my crafting table and the stone cutter and the chest I'll have to move everything in manually so this will take a while I should have proper chest no I'll just Cut. All right, there you go. I got some more chests. So we're gonna pop into my new little house. Place the bed in the middle. 
and I guess you could do is a little bit of a thing where I could place a little shelf over here guarding where I sleep. This is where I sleep. Stone cutter I'll place right here. Crafting table here. Jukebox here. And on the other side, two furnaces. And my chest will be like right here on the sides, for now at least. So this will be like my quote unquote double chest. And I luckily I did get leather so I could organize these chests. Should we get more chests though? Yep, I did I got some more chests, so this should be good. So I can organize my items, and this will be like where I'll start building underground. I guess I'll put my squid head right on top here. So I could show off that I literally just killed a squid for all that. Pull back outside, you have the sun setting. So it's a great time to move in. I will take this, grab all my stuff. Not all of it, most of it. And then I can actually start organizing. I should have got the leather so that way I can make item frames so I can like put everything into position of where I want it to be. Sweet. Don't worry, I don't think anyone will steal because if they do, they're getting kicked and banned from the SMP. That's for anyone who wants to steal, you're getting banned from the server. So please just don't do it. Don't do it to a server. Item frames, there we go. So right here. Oops, I didn't mean to place that. So right in this chest, we will have stone materials. So stone things go inside. Um, and, and yeah. uh, okay, that will be for wood. I have to go to bed first. Yeah, I actually should just find the hole. So this is right here, right here. This is the hole. So now I can place this. This is like wood materials. And I should have got more sticks. Yeah, okay, yeah, there's a zombie villager there and he's dead. That's two more item frames. This will be for minerals, like diamonds and whatnot. So let's go in here, all the minerals. And we have like the, uh, the miscellaneous items. Or like the okay, I also forgot this. Yep. And this chest down below will be for like the miscellaneous items. So I will put items like actually like this might be the food chest or like farming chest. So yeah, like like food related items go in here, or like any animal loot or like whatnot, like cobwebs, like bones and arrows and stuff like that. I forgot redstone is also a mineral, so it goes in this chest. And then these chests over there, I will have to decide. There we go, I have all my things. So now I can take this chest and, and bust it. Alright, it's moving time again for the last time, hopefully, in this video. Should have also got more wood. Do I have any more? No, but more. Well, that's a shame, apparently. I wish I could just do something with the doors, but you can't, so. I guess this can also go in here. I guess I'll put another crafting table over here, and then, you know, this just will be for like, I guess copper also might go here too. What am I doing? And lapis. Okay. Ooh, so this chest, right here will be the miscellaneous chest for like, Music discs, novels, shells, like all the rare items, or like, like whatever these items are. Actually, this is the miscellaneous. This chest will be for any like, like gear or such. So I guess I put like leather helmets, like helmets, and I guess bows and arrows, I suppose. Yep, not the most organized, and like your tools and stuff. But yeah, this is what we have on the first episode, and then I guess. Yeah, we'll just leave it up to the other two chests, and then we'll just put like the color items in here, and then something else in here. But yeah, so this is my little cubby. 
I just need to reorganize everything perfectly. Also, I forgot we need a nature chest. I guess this will be the nature chest. So all like the nature items, like sugar cane, tulips, and I guess this is like the mob drop chest. So yeah, that's the mob chest right here. And all organized. I guess we'll just end the episode here. So thank you so much for watching the first episode of the YG Craft SMP or the YG Member SMP Season 4. I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.